says bow your head before the Lord that's what that song is saying bow your head before the Lord that's very very pretty music very very pretty music remember that we are um, we are shooting this live on Ustream so you can watch this on Ustream right now it's on it's really on. This is Dr. Idika Imeri, and uh, I am, I am, uh, 
a bishop to many pastors and uh, bishops and uh, whatever their title. Prophets, evangelists, uh, teachers of the world uh, around the world. I am a global pastor and I am in the apostolic ministry with you. Thank you, Jesus. All right. I want to go straight to what God has for us this evening. There we go. We got it. What God has for us this evening. I want to read to you from, from Philippians. Philippians chapter Philippians chapter 4 verse 4. Level 44. I call that level 44. is my reading okay there we go rejoice in the Lord always or all the time and again I say rejoice rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice another way of putting this will be Be happy in the Lord always. And again I say be happy. Be happy. Some, some translation will even go as far as saying be joyful in the Lord always. So sometimes there is an intermingling of or a play on word. Some will use joy. Be joyful in the Lord always. And again I say be joyful. See. Happiness will make you. Unhappiness will destroy you. Now this is how some people's failure begin. Some people's failure began this way. When the devil put it in your head, in your mind, that all hope is lost, and the situation is helpless, that there is no way out, that's one of the biggest lies of people and the enemy to get you into trouble. Listen again to what I'm saying. One of the greatest lies of the enemy and people is it is helpless and hopeless. There is no help. And with that belief, you enter into what we call a bubble of gloom. When you look into your pocket, there is no money. And you say the best thing is for you to shoot yourself and shoot your family members. Shoot your father, shoot your mother, or carry a gun and go and shoot the man or woman that fired you from your from your last job. And if they are not there, you start killing everybody else there in that job. It's because you are living in what we call a bubble of doom and a bubble of gloom. You believe there is no help. You believe it is hopeless and helpless. Flip the coin the other way around. Happiness will make what you've been looking for for years to even happen quickly today. Because with fear, when you are afraid and you've lost hope, you have allowed yourself to journey into the entrance towards hell. Get what I'm telling you? Because this is some of the things you are going to face in your lifetime. Time is coming. You're going to remember that I told you this. That with a bubble of doom and a bubble of gloom, you are a candidate and on your way towards a destination called hell 
and hell does not just begin in hell hell begins here on earth and heaven begins here on earth be joyful in the Lord always be happy in the Lord he did not say in yourself let's face it if you look at yourself all the time for happiness or in people material resources money in your pocket and uh, your colleagues are driving a uh, uh, what is it a Rolls Royce you are still driving a Mercedes and people begin to compare you you begin to to, to jump into the rat race and, and all kind of races, dog race, elephant race, all kind of race, I don't know. What happened? Sooner or later, the car that you just bought and you were happy about, and you saw your colleague driving a better car than that one, you begin to enter into doom and gloom. Unhappiness will not fetch you anything unhappiness will destroy you it will open the way and the gate to hell while you are here on earth in fact it will open the door for people when they see you to run away from you not to want you hates you and um, become afraid that you're gonna rob them become afraid that you're going to do something bad against them. That is why you go for an interview and they don't call you back because they can sense the vibration, the aura around you that it is an aura of unhappiness. You went into the interview, you didn't greet nobody, you were not friendly with nobody, you were so sad and so oversensitive, hypersensitive. And what happened? They give it to somebody who is cheerful somebody who can laugh at their mistakes somebody who can laugh at their sinfulness of their past someone who takes things easy and not somebody who always takes things so much overboard they won't give you a job if you are always unnecessarily serious because of your problems many people lose their executive jobs because they carry their problem from their homes to the job the Bible says the first place to begin to rejoice is in Jesus he's called Lord your honor knowing that he's able sooner or later now let me put it to you the way it should be put to you when you make up your mind that no matter what happened you're gonna be a happy person in the world I'll give you an example Stress with travels. I came in yesterday. What did I do first? To bubble myself so that I start work immediately. I didn't go to bed. Ran down into my fridge and pick a bottle of wine. Nice wine. Very low alcohol. Pour me a glass of red wine. Sat down and drank. And said, God, I thank you. I rejoice. The people you've given me families you've given to me children you've given to me great things that i've seen some flew and they burst and into flames in the air but you protected us oh i rejoice i'm so happy went out to the balcony and and uh, stood there and just watched the birds going by i'm happy very happy and energy busted into me and let me tell you, I'm going to share with you what word, how words create your happiness. But right now, I'm just talking about your attitude. Your attitude is going to open the door to heaven or going to open the door to, 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 to hell. It is going to open the door. Your, your, your unhappiness will open the door to, to hell and close the door to heaven. I'll tell you the reason. Because if you make Jesus the center of your happiness, then he will pour his happiness into you. And then you will not just have your own happiness in you, you will now begin to have his own happiness also in you. So you have two things going on at the same time, flowing and intermingling. That's what we are looking for. That's the kind of happiness and happy people the world is looking for. 
to head big corporations, to become executive directors of big, big companies, to become world-class rulers and leaders. That's what the Almighty God wants me to talk to you about. Lift up your hand and begin to tell God, I want the door of heaven to open to me. Jesus, pour into me your happiness so that it will mingle with my happiness and we will make it together. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Please begin to pray. I'm going to begin to minister to some of you out there who believe that everything is not going to work out right. Your mind has given you the reason. People have given you the reason why things are going to fail. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that spirit in your life. I rebuke those voices. I destroy those imaginations. And I command those wicked people out of your life who have been lying to you that all is helpless and hopeless. And I command the spirit of the living God with the power and the glory of God to channel you back to happiness so that all the days of your life you will become a happy person. I am making a pronouncement over your life that from this day forward you must become happy. The, 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 the rib of happiness come upon you. The river of happiness pour into you. Whoa! It is like that in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Conference over. I'll see you by 12 o'clock midnight. Bye bye.